How's it going, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to episode one of the WWE 2K18 Universe Mode series right here on No Holds Barred Wrestling Podcast. I'm your host, the self-proclaimed grace host, Kyle Masters, as always. And guys, this is episode one of the series finally getting out to you guys, and we are going to do a Universe Mode Draft. So basically how to have this draft is, and I'm going to show you guys right now, I got the random name picker, and I have all the roster input it in here and I also added some uh crate of wrestlers uh from the um uh from the community creations to add to our universe mode. I added all three members of Undisputed Era. I've added Alistair Black. I know he's DLC, but I haven't had the DLC yet. I'm sure I'm going to be able to buy it and put him into the game. So, Kari Zane, Liv Morgan, Pete Dunn, Rey Mysterio, Tynar Conti, Tony Storm, Trent Seven, and Tyler Bate, Mustache Mountain as their team. And they are going to be in our universe mode for this draft. And I'll go over to the Google Doc that I've set up. We're going to have three shows for this uh, universe mode, Monday Night Raw, Tuesday Night SmackDown, and Wednesday Night NXT. I also have made pay-per-views for each Raw and SmackDown throughout the months, and I also have made the takeovers for NXT, and I'll be able to do that in Episode 2, and I'll show you all that in Episode 2 of Universe Mode when I get it out to you guys, and I'll highlight everything, and we'll get all the feuds started. So basically what I have to do in this, and I'll show you guys how this is going to work, is say I pick a random name for the Monday Night Raw. I go in here, and I find them, and I put it in here just to get it all organized for us. And it'll be all organized for us that way. So, without further ado, let's get right into it and start this universe mode draft. And we'll get in to the first pick. So, I probably should have done, uh, see who gets the first pick. You know what, I'm going to do that right now really quickly while we're doing this and recording this. Probably should have done it before, but that's okay. Um, here we go, we'll do Raw, SmackDown, and NXT. Let's see, who gets the first overall pick? NXT gets the first overall pick, SmackDown will get second, and Raw will get third. So basically just the backwards order here. <laughs> um, so here we go. The first person to be drafted. So it also has a tag team, and I'll go over that too. It has all the mix of the tag teams and the women. So they're hoping it for it to be even as possible. Um, so if not, then I'll, I'll make some changes. So uh, we'll go through that all after the draft. So... Let's get into the first overall pick. So the first pick going to NXT is Tyler Breeze. All right. So Tyler Breeze is heading on over. So Tyler means Fandango and, uh, yeah, so Tyler Breeze and Fandango. So the team of Brazongo is heading on over to NXT. And I'll quickly do that here. Let's go down. I think they're on SmackDown. Yeah. Are they listed as Brazongo? No, so I got to add Fandango and Tyler Breeze. So SmackDown gets the first team, or NXT gets the first team of Brazongo, or sorry, Fandango and Tyler Breeze. So Brazongo. So hopefully they are. Uh, this Inval must be fall within a specified range. Yeah, okay, that's fine. Whatever. It is what it is. So there you go. First pick is a Brazongo by NXT. So the next pick will be SmackDown. Dash Wilder. So da Dash Wilder and Scott Dawson. So another team. Let's head on over to SmackDown. So we get that here. Dash Wilder. And we got to get Scott Dawson. There he is. All right. So the Revival is now on SmackDown Live. So two teams right off the bat here. So we'll go into Raw's pick. Bobby Roode. So the first singles competitor. And that is Bobby Roode. And he's going over to Monday Night Raw. The glorious one. And he should be right here. I'm not sure why he's not there. Where is Bobby Roode? Strange. He's not DLC. So why that? Where the hell is Bobby Roode? If I type his name, oh there he is. Okay, that's weird. No, I guess that's easy. I can just type their name instead of looking for them. All right. So there is the first, uh, first round pick. There. Let's go to the second round. Ember Moon to NXT. So Ember Moon is staying with NXT. I guess I can just type their name in. There we go. That'll be easier. Again, to the SmackDown pick. Second round pick, Roddy Strong is heading over to SmackDown Live. Corporate Cappy's boy, Roderick Strong. Next pick for Monday Night Raw, Carmella is heading over to Monday Night Raw. There we go. So interesting first couple of rounds there. We get the two teams with SmackDown and NXT, and then 
Raw's got Bobby Roode and Carmella so far, and we got two women. We got Ember Moon with NXT, and Roddy Strong is the singles competitor for SmackDown. So NXT yet to pick a singles competitor here in the draft. So let's see if we got one for them here. So the third round pick for NXT is Victor. So Connor and Victor, the Ascension, is heading over. I guess going back to NXT so right where they belong because I really feel like they need to be back in NXT because they're doing nothing right now on the main roster so we'll see what we got for them and in store for them on NXT so next pick in the third round for SmackDown Scott Dawson they've already picked I probably should have erased them from here but we'll just keep hitting rent okay Noam Dar is going to SmackDown Live and there we go Noam Dar next pick for Monday Night Raw Kalisto so two cruiserweights back to back there, and right there at the top of the list. So get into the fourth round with NXT, and that is Paige, my girl Paige, going back to her roots and being an NXT. All right, so already a, a pretty a solid woman division start there for NXT with Ember Moon and Paige. SmackDown Live yet to draft a woman to their show, and we got Carmella on Raw. So we'll see what SmackDown has in store here in the fourth round. We got. Primo Cologne. So the Colognes going over to SmackDown Live. So Primo in Epico. Get into the fourth pick for Raw. And we got Ty Dillinger, the perfect 10. Our boy from Niagara Falls, Ontario, Canada. Going over to Monday Night Raw. So a pretty decent roster so far, I think, out of all three shows. And we'll see what the fifth round has in store for us. So we'll get into the fifth round with... Um, NXT, we got the Usos heading over to uh, NXT. And wow, man, the, 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 the tag team division on NXT looks dope. Oh my God, I didn't type in Jimmy. Looks really dope. You got the Usos, the Ascension, and Brazongo so far. So NXT looking like a, a tag team based show so far. Uh, SmackDown, let's see what their fifth pick is. Pete Dunn. So the Bruiserweight. Heading over to SmackDown Live. and where, Okay, I have to type him in because he's a creative wrestler. That's right. Pete Dunn. There we go. And we'll get into the fifth pick for Raw, and that is Alistair Black. All right. I don't think he... Okay, he is there. Okay, probably, he's part of the DLC. There we go. Alistair Black for Monday Night Raw. So pretty good five rounds here. Yeah, I think it's five. Yeah, five rounds. Raw looks pretty stacked already. Got Bobby Roode, Ty Dillinger, Alistair Black. So it looks like a decent show. SmackDown's got uh, a couple teams of the Colognes, uh, the Revival. And they got Pete Dunne, Noem Dar, and Roddy Strong as their singles competitors so far. And then you got Sma or NXT over here with Brazongo, The Ascension, and The Usos. And you got Paige, Ember Moon, and yeah, Paige and Ember Moon. They don't have, they've yet to draft a singles competitor. I just noticed that with NXT. So hopefully the sixth round can get one for them. And we'll get into it. And we got No Way Jose as their first singles competitor. Oh, God. So he ain't going anywhere. He's sticking with NXT. Um, it's an interesting pick there. Uh, SmackDown Live's next pick, we got R-Truth. All right. So we got we got, a, we got some jobbers. Got to get some jobbers on the show, you know. Can't all have just uh, big superstars. So R-Truth on SmackDown Live. Uh, next one with Raw. Let's get into it. Raw picks. Nikki Cross. All right. So Nikki Cross from Sanity is heading over to Raw and the second woman picked for Raw. So we got Carmella and Nikki Cross. So interesting women's division so far over there on Monday Night Raw. So we'll go into, I think it's believe the seventh pick now for NXT. And that is Killian Dane. All right. So um, I know a lot of people are going to wonder about that. Uh, Killian Dane, uh, I'm considering a singles competitor as of what's going on right now on the main roster. Um, I I feel like we should just keep Eric or Eric, yeah Eric Young and uh, uh, Wolf together. So that will be a tag team. So Killian Dane is a singles competitor. So I'm going to put him there on NXT. Um, SmackDown Live with the next pick, Billy Kay, the iconic duo. And I'm not going to include them together. A lot of people probably want me to include them together. Uh, it, it's really tough. You know, since they don't have any women, I'll keep them together. So Peyton Royce and Billy Kay, the iconic duo, going over to SmackDown Live. And the next pick on Raw is Sin Cara. All right, they got a jobber there too. And, you know, you got to gotta go through Sin Cara to make your brand uh, legitimized, and you got to have him on your show. So Monday Raw picking in Sin Cara there. Um, 
So we will get into the eighth round here for NXT. And we got Bo Dallas. It looks like NXT is Bo leaving and one of their original NXT champions, Bo Dallas, returning to NXT here. Interesting, interesting pick. Um, again, to the next pick for SmackDown Live. And as Bray Wyatt, good pick by SmackDown here. The Eater of L's, as people would like to call him now, on his way over to SmackDown Live, hopefully turning around his career. Um, and getting into the next pick for Monday Night Raw, they choose Dash Butler's already been picked. No Way Zay's been already been picked. Roddy Strong's already been picked. Kalisto's already been picked. God, Mark Henry, here we go. He's still a member of the active roster in the game. So Mark Henry is uh, <laughs> going over to Raw. Oh, boy. <laughs> yeah, no brain will like that pick, but... Uh, um, we'll see what happens, but, uh, you know what, I'm going to take a quick sec here, guys, um, before I, uh, I, I continue on, um, because I, I just want to go, I'm going to go in really quickly here, I'll do some edit, video editing, and I'm going to take out all the names that have been picked so far, so give me a second, and we'll get into that. All right, guys, I got it, I got it, went and erased all the names from the guys we just picked. And then we'll do it again. We'll do another uh, video editing later on when we get through a bunch more names. But Mark Henry with the last pick. And we'll just see here. Yeah, those for Ross. So the next pick is going to NXT. And that is John Cena. That is an interesting pick right there. Huge pick for NXT is John Cena, the man of the myth, the legend, Mr. Hustle Loyalty and Respect, heading over to NXT. So we're getting to the next pick for SmackDown, and we got Nia Jax. All right, another woman added to the SmackDown division. And that is Nia Jax. You know, she's not like most girls, and she's not like most picks here in this draft. So we're getting to the next pick with Monday Night Raw, and that is Luke Harper. So I'm including Eric Rowan. I'm going to see if I can get the Bludgeon Brothers uh, attire for them. So the Bludgeon Brothers going over to Monday Night Raw, and I believe that is their second team. I'm going to check after I add Eric Rowan. No, that is their first team to be added to Monday Night Raw. So they get their first tag team in the Bludgeon Brothers. So we'll get into now the next pick for NXT, and that is Shane Thorne. I believe that is TM61. So Shane Thorne. And I don't, for the life of me, I don't really remember who his tag team partner is. So I'm just going to quickly scan through. Nick Miller, that's it. Nick Miller and Shane Thorne, TM61. So they are added to NXT. So another team. So it looks like NXT is very a very team-based show here uh, in our universe mode draft. So we're getting to the next pick with SmackDown Live, and that is Big Cass. So Big Cass and Enzo, I have split up in this game. So that is a singles competitor. So Big Cass is going to SmackDown Live. Next pick for Raw is Rey Mysterio. The returning luchador is heading over to Monday Night Raw. And I have to type in his name because he's a creative wrestler. So Rey Mysterio is a really good creative wrestler. Whoever made this on the Community Creations on Xbox is fantastic. They made an exact repl replica of Rey Mysterio. It's crazy. So you guys will see when we get into the universe mode. But next pick is for NXT. That is the Undisputed Era. So NXT, very, very team-based. So they're going to get Adam Cole, baby. They're going to get Kyle O'Reilly. I don't know if I'm spelling it. Probably not spelling it right. I apologize if I'm not, guys. Uh, <laughs> and Bobby Fish. There we go. So, Undisputed Air going to NXT. Very, very stacked show for NXT. Uh, next pick is Sasha Banks going over to SmackDown. I know a lot of people want her to go over to SmackDown in real life. So, here we go. In Universe Mode Draft, she's on her way to SmackDown Live. And the woman, not a lot of women on SmackDown Live either. What do we got so far? We got Iconic and Sasha Banks and Nia Jack so far. So, not too bad. The next pick for Monday Night Raw. Hopefully a team for them. That is Kane, the big red monster. So Kane and Mark Henry on this show. Raw is going to be, <laughs> oh God, so bad. I'm sorry. Uh, we'll get into the next pick for NXT. Hopefully not a team. I don't need any more. TJ Perkins, as Neville would say. He is going over to NXT. So bringing some 205 Live flavor on over to NXT. And with the next pick for SmackDown, Enzo Amore. Speaking of 205 Live. Is heading over to SmackDown. Maybe a 
Maybe they'll be in the future. Maybe we get Enzo and Cass back together. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Next pick for all. Hopefully a team. I'm hoping for a team for them. Nope. We're getting Sheamus. Uh, the Bludger Bears are knowing the, the face. So I got to know the bars in this game. So I got to include the bar. So Cesaro and Sheamus. So we got two teams there finally on Raw. So there we go. That makes sense. Totally forgot about the bar. Uh, next pick, we got Becky Lynch heading over to NXT. So there's a good pick. Becky Lynch going back to her routes as well. So good division on NXT for the women. So we got uh, Becky Lynch, um, Paige, and Ember Moon. So decent division so far for NXT. And we are not done yet, ladies and gentlemen. So next pick for SmackDown Live, Roderick Strong has already been picked. I forgot to erase him. Dana Brooke is the next pick for SmackDown Live. So they finally got another woman and added to some depth for their women's division roster. Now on to Raw. Next pick for them is Hideo Itami. Good pick there. Uh, Kenta, as a lot of people would remember him back in New Japan for wrestling and hasn't really gotten his shot here in uh, WWE. It looks like they're adding him to 205 Live. I have my mixed opinions about that, but it is what it is. So next pick for NXT. They're getting Charlotte Flair. Woo! The division for NXT is stacked. I'm not sure if we're going to have to make any trades or anything. We might have to make some trades. We'll see what happens after. But Charlotte Flair on her way to NXT as of this draft. And the next pick going to SmackDown, Cassius. Oh, no. Oh, no. And definitely a person uh, Cobra Cappy is not too fond of. But he's on his way over to SmackDown Live. Next pick for Raw, Goldust. I'm not sure what we're going to do with Goldman. Gold, it just like, looks like Monday Night Raw is going to be the land of the old people and the old washed up Raw stars. So Goldust on his way to Monday Night Raw. And going into the next pick with NXT, we get Emma. There we go. She's still in the game. So I'm still going to use her, and Emma is going to be on NXT. So NXT's women's division stack. Might have to make a few trades uh, after the draft. We'll see what happens. But um, next pick for SmackDown. They choose Rizar, so Rizard Akum, so the Authors of Pain. I know a lot of people think they're going to be on SmackDown in real life as well. They're going over to SmackDown in our universe mode. So Rizard Akum, the Authors of Pain, going over to SmackDown. So finally, got another team there for SmackDown. So we'll see what happens with that. Next pick for Raw, AJ Styles. Huge, huge pick here in the universe mode draft. Probably one of the steals of the draft so far, and that is AJ Styles on Monday Night Raw. So Monday Night Raw looking pretty, pretty... Uh, you know it's going it's going all right so far. <laughs> uh, what am I saying? So there's still a lot of good talent out there. We'll see what happens with the rest. So so far, uh, that's a really good pick for Monday Night Raw. And going to the next pick for NXT, we got Alexa Bliss. So yeah, the women's division is extremely stacked on NXT. So we're we'll definitely have to do something about that. I'll make a couple trades here and there. So next pick on SmackDown, we got Rey Mysterio has already been picked. Chris Jericho, the list, is coming over to SmackDown Live. So it sucks because I heard about Chris Jericho recently that uh, his Fozzie tours are going to be going through Royal Rumble and WrestleMania, so he might not be there. So that's sad because uh, uh, me and myself, or myself and Corporate Cap be going over to WrestleMania this year, so it's sad we won't be able to see him in a match. Sasha Banks has already been picked for Raw, or has already been picked in general. Baron Corbin is next to be picked here for Monday Night Raw. So that's a decent pick. Two good picks in a row there for Monday Night Raw. So we'll get, move on from that and go through NXT. Johnny Gargano is staying with NXT. Johnny wrestling himself. And that is a good pick for NXT. SmackDown with the next pick. Brock Lesnar is heading over to SmackDown. Going back to his roots. Or he started with he was in WWE. And that is Brock Lesnar going over to SmackDown Live. So really good picks now. We're getting into those superstars that are going to mean something here. And going into the last pick of the round for Raw, Nick Miller's already been chosen. Cesaro's already been chosen. Luke Harper's already been chosen. Maurice. So a woman finally for Monday Night Raw. Maurice has been added to Raw. And I don't know if they have a lot of women. they got Carmella, Nikki Cross, yeah, and Maurice. So there's definitely going to be some trades going on for sure. Um We'll get into that maybe at the beginning of the next episode or maybe at the end of this one. We'll see. But Maurice, the next one for Raw. Um, as for right now, guys, I'm going to go right back into the name picker here and uh, erase some names for y'all. So uh, give me a second here. All right, guys, we're back, and I made some change. <clears throat> I didn't make any changes. I erased the names that were already picked. 
you know, I looked through the list, and there's a little lot of good names out there. So this draft still has a long ways to go. So we'll get into the next pick, and that is with NXT. Um, I'm not sure what round we're in. It looks like a lot. I don't even want to count. But uh, next pick is going to NXT, and that is Alexander Wolf. So Sanity is, looks like is staying with, uh, or most like four of the five members are staying with NXT. So Alexander Wolf and Eric Young are staying with NXT. So good pick there by NXT to strengthen their already stacked tag team division. Might have to make a few trades with that too because Raw is definitely uh, <laughs> not a tag team show so far. Uh, SmackDown Live with the next pick. They get Bo Dallas. I'm pretty sure we already picked Bo Dallas. I think I forgot to erase him. Let me just make sure. Yep, Bo Dallas was picked for NXT. So we'll do another one for SmackDown is Rhino. So C Slater and Rhino are going to SmackDown Live or staying put on SmackDown Live. So good for them. Not being the last pick in the draft, Heath Slater gets a good has a good for him. Next pick with Raw, we get The Miz. So Miz and Maurice, one pick right after the, uh, <laughs> the other. So that's a coincidence right there. But Miz and Maurice staying together on the same show. Next pick with NXT, we get Shane McMahon. That is an interesting pick here uh, going over to NXT. Um, well, I'm still not uh, debating on where I'm keeping Shane Man. He's not really an active wrestler, so we're gonna erase that pick. Uh, I'm not sure why. I think I, I copied this list from a website, guys. So I'm, there's gonna be I, I forgot to go through it and erase the names that are not really active. So, um, Shane Man, I'm sorry, we're not gonna use you, but there you go. We got the club going over to NXT. Oh man, we're definitely make some trades and some move arounds after this draft. Uh, Luke Gallows. Um, or we'll see what we'll see how the rosters look at the end. Uh, next pick is going to SmackDown. We got Roman Reigns going over to SmackDown. Live. That's an interesting pick. So they're getting their uh, top, big superstar there, and they already got a lot of top superstars. So this is going to be a good show for SmackDown Live. Next pick on Monday Night Raw is Kofi Kingston. So the New Day heading over to Raw, finally getting a team there on. Um, on Raw, geez, I'm waiting for the new day to get picked, man. Three members there. Uh, oops, I forgot to go into the next one for Big E. Sorry, Big E. Big E Langston. And going into the next pick is going to be NXT. And they're choosing Natalia. Yes, their women's division is completely stacked. We're going to have to do something about that. That's for sure. Next pick, SmackDown, Finn Balor. Finn Balor is a lot of people like me to say is heading over to SmackDown Live. So interesting pick there. Uh, next pick with Raw, Kurt Hawkins, ready to increase his losing streak on Monday Night Raw. So he's staying put. Next pick, we're just going to fly through these guys. Sawyer Fulton, not sure why he's still in the game or why they want chose to include him, but he's going to NXT. Uh, they can always use a jobber there. Curtis Axel going over to SmackDown Live. Next pick, Finn Balor has already been picked. Natalia's already been picked. Nikki Bella heading over to Monday Night Raw. So there you go. There's a woman there. Next pick for NXT. Luke Gallows has already been picked. Seth rolls in. This is TakeOver, right? Seth Rollins going over to NXT to participate in the TakeOvers for real this time. Next pick for SmackDown Live, Chad Gable. So there are American Alpha in this game, so I'm including them as a team. So Chad Gable and Jason Jordan. We don't get the cringe singles, Jason Jordan. Not my universe mode. We're going to include him with SmackDown Live. Um, next pick for Monday Night Raw, and that is Xavier Woods. already been picked. Akira Tozawa. That's an interesting pick there. So they got some 205 Live flavor on Raw. So Tozawa's going to Monday Night Raw. Good pick there. Next pick for, wow, big pick for NXT and getting Shinsuke Nakamura. Huge, huge pick there for NXT. And Akamura going back to where he started there in the WWE. Smacked alive with the next pick and they get <laughs> the big show. My favorite. <laughs> He's not. He really isn't. Um, Monday Night Raw with the next pick. Zack Ryder. So they are the hype bros in this game. So I got to include them as a team. So that's Zack Ryder and Mojo Raleigh. You know, they just split up recently. They're a team in this game. Uh, next pick will go to NXT. And they get Naomi. So there he goes. <laughs> they keep getting all the women. This is, this is brutal. 
definitely something that to be done about the women in this one. Uh, next pick for SmackDown. Oh, Naomi again. Big Show. Nope. Shane Man. Nope. Rusev. Ruru. It's going to be Rusev Day every day on SmackDown Live. Next pick with Raw. Shinsuke. Nope. Rhino. Nope. Natalia. Nope. Dolph Ziggles. He's been drafted. Dolph Ziggler. Ain't going anywhere and bringing his persona over to Monday Night Raw. Next pick for NXT. Once we get through these, Mickey James. Oh my God! Like they keep getting all the women here. This is brutal. And this is a randomizer, guys. This is nuts. SmackDown with the next pick, Cedric Alexander, my boy. Finally, hopefully, getting to get his shot on SmackDown Live. Next pick, where we go? Apollo Cruz. I don't believe has been chosen. No, I don't think I chose him. Yeah, I don't see him anywhere. I think it'll tell me if I do his name twice. Yeah, no, he hasn't been chosen. So, Paul Crew is going over to Raw, hopefully getting a better deal than the Titus brand deal. Uh, next pick for NXT. And we'll fly through. Sami Zayn. Oh, my God, man. NXT looked like a really good show. This is crazy. But the other ones are still all right, so we'll see what happens. Uh, he's going over to NXT. Next pick, Finn Balor. Nope. Asuka is finally going over to SmackDown. There we go. That's a good pick for SmackDown Live for the women's division. Finally, not on NXT. <laughs> God. Samoa Joe staying on Raw. There we go. That's a big pick there for Raw. All right, so we're getting down to the nitty-gritty here. Next pick for NXT, Darren Young. I think I think they're singles in this one. I don't think Titus O'Neil is... Uh, a tag team, so I'm going to keep that as a singles with Darren Young going over to NXT. Bailey getting chosen here, going over to SmackDown. That's another good pick there, so looks like I might have to be only making trades with Raw with NXT because they got a lot of good women here now in SmackDown because that's Bailey, Asuka. Who else do they have for women? Bailey, Asuka, Dana Brooke, Sasha Banks, Nia Jax, and Iconic. So they're, they're doing all right for SmackDown, so it looks like it might be just Monday Night Raw. So, speaking of Raw, they get the next pick. Rusev's says already been picked. Yep. Tony Storm. I found a really good creator wrestler of Tony Storm, and I just love her. So, she's going to be included into this universe mode. So, Tony Storm going over to Monday Night Raw and getting a woman finally there on uh, NXT with the next pick, and that is Adrian Neville, or just Neville. For you guys who just want to call him Neville, Neville is going over to NXT. Back to where you all started. Next pick for SmackDown, Alicia Fox. Okay, so it looks like for sure it's just going to be trades with Raw. Uh, and the next pick going to Raw, Chad Gable's been picked. Naomi's been picked. Tazawa, Big E's been picked. Liv Morgan. God, as soon as we're talking about the woman here, it looks like all the all of them are getting uh, picked here. So Liv Morgan going over to Monday Night Raw. The two women picks there for Raw. And next pick with NXT. Trent Seven. All right, so I can include them as a team with Trent Seven and uh, Tyler Bate. So Trent Seven is coming over with Tyler Bate over to NXT. It's Tyler Bate. There we go. Next pick for SmackDown. Guys, Kari Zane. All right, so yeah, definitely it's going to be just Raw, I think. Uh, Kari Zayn. Oh yeah, she's not in the game, so I got down. I downloaded her. It was a pretty good call that I found of Kari Zayn. Uh, so Kari Zayn over to SmackDown Live. Small Joe Neville, Big Show. Yep, Rich Swan. There we go. Rich Swan -a being chosen for Monday Night Raw. Okay, guys, I'm gonna take another quick edit break, and don't worry, I'm gonna edit this out, <laughs> and we're gonna come right back when I get rid of more of the names here for. Uh, the universe mode all right guys we're back here and I just got it all fixed up and there's only a couple of superstars left and women and we'll finish off this draft and see what we look like see what we look like definitely have to make some change in the women's division but uh going in with the next pick is NXT here and they're going to pick up Jinder Mahal the modern day Maha Raja, or as I like to call him, the modern day Maha Krinja, because I can't stand Jinder Mahal. I'm not a fan of him, and I'm sorry, that's just my opinion. So we're going to move on from that into the SmackDown pick, and that is Dean Ambrose, the lunatic fringe, heading over to SmackDown Live. Next pick for Raw, and that is Summer Rae. So interesting pick there. I I, I, I was upset when Summer Rae got released. You know, I love her theme song, and 
Yeah, I just love her theme song. <laughs> but Summer Rae getting released, but she's staying here in our universe mode and being added to Monday Night Raw. NXT now with the next pick, and they are going to get Jack Gallagher. So good pick there. Getting a little 205 Live taste for NXT. Next pick for SmackDown, and that is the Brian Kendrick. So I was surprised he's still kicking around on 205 Live. I thought he was going to be a one and done after the classic, so good for him. Next pick for Raw. Kind of got to hit the button. Braun Strowman, so he ain't going anywhere on Monday Night Raw. Braun Strowman sticking with Raw. Next pick for NXT, Tommaso Ciampa. So DIY staying on the same show. That's interesting. We'll see what happens with that. SmackDown Live with the next pick. The Brian Kendrick's already been picked. Braun Strowman's been picked. Dean Ambrose. Cinema Hall. Gran Metalik. Good pick there for SmackDown. He is an incredible piece of talent. And the next pick for Raw is going to be Kevin Owens. KO. The Kevin Owens Show returning over to Monday Night Raw. So these rosters look pretty good so far, guys. I'm not going to lie. Next pick for NXT. Grand Mentalist has been chosen. Kevin Owens has been chosen here. You know, I'll just quickly do this and go through. So we got rid of these guys. Erase them. We got rid of these guys. Erase them. Some also Chompa, Grand Mentalist. Yeah, yep. Yeah. So basically we have these four left. So one show is going to get an extra pick here. And that'll be, uh, looks like what's going to be NXT is going to get that extra pick here. So we'll see what happens. So NXT is going to get the first pick here. Tamina is going to NXT. So we race her. SmackDown gets Tynara Conti. So good pick there. The, the, the creator wrestler I found of her is uh, amazing. Oh my god. Tainara Conti. I'm pretty sure I saw her spell. I should know how to spell her name. That's sad. Uh, next pick for Raw. The last pick, and they're going to get either Randy Orton or Aiden English. We'll see what happens. Randy Orton. Randy Orton. So NXT by default gets Aiden English. There we go. So that is a draft, guys. Interesting, interesting here. So decent rosters. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. So the one thing I want to go over is the women's one. So we'll see what happens. So Ross got Carmella, Nikki Cross, Maurice, Nikki Bella, Liv Morgan, Tony Storm. So, you know, I think they could maybe trade one woman. It's okay because NXT is pretty stacked. So we got Ember, NXT, we got Ember Moon, Paige. Um, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair. I feel like Raw needs like a, an Alexa Bliss or Charlotte Flair kind of someone to go over there and help that division gel up a little bit. So, you know what? It's either going to be Charlotte Flair or Alexa Bliss. I think Alexa Bliss adds a little bit too much star power. So, I'm going to trade Alexa Bliss and we're going to add in a. What does Raw have too many of? They don't have enough teams. So, I'm not going to take a team. No, we're going to switch Akira Tozawa and Alexa Bliss. So I'm going to put Alexa Bliss here. I'm just going to add an extra S just so I can help me do that. And then I'm going to put Akira Tozawa here. Akira Tozawa there. And Alexa Bliss over here. So that should help a little bit, I think. But I think that the rosters are pretty good. Um, let's go over to the SmackDown side to see what they got for women. They got Billy Kay, Peyton Royce. Sasha Banks, Oscar, um, Bailey, uh, Kari Zane, Alicia Fox. Yeah, they're going to do all right in Tony Conti. They're going to be all right for women, so that's all right. In NXT, how many have they got now? We got Ember Moon, Paige, Becky Lynch, Charlotte Flair, Emma, Natalia, Naomi. I feel like maybe SmackDown can get one more running at Tamina, too. I think... Uh, I think Naomi should be switched over to SmackDown. So we're going to add in, uh, you know, we're going to put Grand Metalik on NXT for Naomi. So Grand, let's put Grand Metalik because I know it's not spelled right, but it's the only way I can do it. And then we're going to put Naomi over here. And then over here, we're going to put Grand Metalik. There we go. So we made the trade. That I think that's pretty much fair. So we'll just go over the team just in case. Uh, the teams over on Monday Night Raw, we have uh, the Bludgeon Brothers, The Bar, uh, New Day, uh, 
the hype bros that's good so they have that and we got the revival the colognes and zone cash could probably become a team he slayer rhino american alpha uh and razor and Akum aop um and how many teams does nxc actually have they have one two three four five Six, seven, oh god, seven, eight teams. God, I think one team should go over from NXT, and I think it should go over to Raw to help out a little bit. Um, and I'd say we should move. Uh, you know what? Just add some flavor over there. We're gonna add. Um, yeah, we're gonna bring over. Uh, where are they? Where the hell are they? There you are. Alexander Wolf and Eric Young. So Sandy is going to go over to Raw. And we're going to add in... I guess this thing is we add a singles competitor. We can give them... You know what? Dolph Ziggler. Dolph Ziggler for... Uh, yeah, for them. So we're going to erase Dolph Ziggler from here. And we're going to add... Uh, Eric... Young and the add okay add there and Eric Young and Alex Wolf. All right, so you gotta go over here and erase them from NXT. So erase them, and we're gonna put Dolph Ziggler over here, and then go fix the names. Over here. There we go. All right. So I think those are pretty fair rosters for now. Or I guess actually for the, for good. So those are your rosters, guys. I'm going to scroll through for you guys um, really slowly here from the top. So there you go. You got your uh, – you got 12 there. All right. Let me just – so you can pause the video and look at them. Let's go down to Seamus. There we go. And you got more here. Make sure you pause the video here and take a look. And then you've got some more here. Pause the video there. And then the end there for NXT. So those are our rosters for the universe mode, guys. Um, basically how I want to do the universe mode is I want to pick one. Oops, sorry. <laughs> Just moved my mic out of the way. One singles competitor from Raw, one singles competitor from SmackDown, and one singles competitor for NXT. One women from each brand, and one tag team from each brand to follow through the whole year. And then at the end of the year at WrestleMania, we'll switch up. Maybe we'll do another draft, and then we'll do the same thing over in year number two. So for year number one, we'll pick one for each. You guys have seen the rosters. Let me know down in the comments below who you want me to choose for each for each brand. You can tweet at us at NoHoldsBarredWP or at RealKyleMasters. Tweet me, DM me, do whatever you want. Please vote or I'll do some polls and I'll put them on Twitter as well and let me know which people I should use for the universe mode. So thank you guys for tuning in and watching this video here on YouTube.com slash NHBWR for episode one of the WWE 2K18 universe mode series. And I will see you in episode two and we start off the road to our first couple of pay-per-views. See you guys later.